Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A. Crizzy here, and welcome back to a new movie review once again. In tonight's review, I'm going to be reviewing the new horror slasher movie, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is inspired by, by the fake movie trailer from Grindhouse, directed by Eli Roth. And so Eli Roth directs this film as well, and, so, and that fake movie trailer ended up becoming a real movie. And so in this movie, we follow an axe-wielding maniac known as John Carver, who basically terrorizes residents and people of, of Massachusetts after, after a Black Friday riot and chaos ends in tragedy, when, when a few people were killed during, during the incident. And picking off victims one by one, the seemingly random revenge and killings soon become part of a larger, sinister plan, where, where, where all the victims that were murdered end, end up becoming like, like a real violent, disturbing Thanksgiving dinner. And, and, with, and with the title known as Thanksgiving, it, it kind of almost like, it's kind of almost like one of those like Halloween meets Scream vibes where it gives you those vibes between Scream and Halloween, where it's kind of like almost like the mixture in, in the mixture of, of Thanksgiving style of Halloween and Scream. And yeah, and of course, the movie comes to us from from the director, Eli Roth, who has directed other horror films from the past and. His only, his only non-horror film he directed, which is, which is the one I saw in theaters five years ago, The House with the Clock in Its Walls, which I remember seeing in theaters, and I remember liking it at the time. And <coughs> Excuse me. When I, when I first saw the real trailer to this movie, I, I thought it looked very interesting. From, I thought it looked very interesting. Like, I actually thought this movie had a very interesting concept, like how John Carver looks and how the, and how the John Carver mask looks. It kind of almost, it's kind of like almost like he's like where the killer is basically dressed up as a pilgrim and like John Carver and, and it's like, and it's, and it's kind of like how all these like people, all these people who are going after John Carver and they have to try and stop him from killing people. And it's, and of course, when it comes to the kills in this film, the kills in this movie were actually really bloody and they were actually like really gory as well. And, and that, and that's like, and that's like in terms of, of how Eli Roth directs this film and the way his directing works. His directing was actually well well directed in this film, and and I can probably say this is probably Eli Roth's best horror film in my opinion, and it's and it's also one of my all time favorite horror films of the year as well. Yeah, because I think this this year has pretty much been a solid year for horror slasher films that came out this year, and I will say Thanksgiving is is one of my all time favorite horror films of the year, because it had a very interesting concept and it had like and it had some good performances even. The performances in this movie I thought were I thought were really good because I don't know a bunch of the actors who are in this film, but I do know one actor, Patrick Dempsey from Grey's Anatomy. Patrick Dempsey was in the film. He played like he like he plays like like the, the sheriff in the film, and I thought Patrick Dempsey Patrick Dempsey's performance was actually really good. And yeah, and it's like and he, and even and like I said, when it comes to the kills in this film. They're actually mainly mainly to be like very bloody and gory in terms of Eli Roth in terms of Eli Roth horror films, and of course the and of course the movie is also released by TriStar Pictures and Spyglass Media Group, Spyglass Media Group that also did Screen Five Six and the and last year's Hellraiser film, and yeah, because this this movie kind of almost reminded me of Scream a little bit, because given the fact that how Spyglass Media Group also worked on Screen Five and Six, and. And yeah, so and I actually had a real fun time with this movie. Yeah, so yeah, because like, and 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 even one of, one of my favorite scenes in the film was that was actually it was actually when when John Carver kills the second victim during during the first half of the film when when John Carver kills the second victim in the film when, when, and the second victim who owns a cat in the film like the the cat itself actually does not get killed at all. Because it's because it's revealed that John Carver actually has heart to animals, and it's like how and it's like he, and it's like how John Carver he actually does not kill the cat. Instead, like instead he actually he actually feeds the cat with care, and it's like that that's like something completely different in horror films, and that's something you rarely see in horror films because they, all because of a cliche that that we see like a like a like a pet get killed, which is like a a cliche we've seen in other horror films. Like last year's Smile film, like 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 in Smile, the cat does get killed in last year's movie Smile. But yeah, that that, that was actually one of my favorite scenes in the film, and and probably and probably my probably my favorite kill that that was in the that was in the film too, the second kill in the film. And 
And yeah, because and this movie kind of does remind you a little bit of like Scream, of course, like like how it gives you those Scream vibes, where it's kind of almost like Halloween meets Scream in the style of Thanksgiving. Because Thanksgiving is kind of like Halloween, but with Thanksgiving, of course, like how the movie takes place on Thanksgiving, like a year a year after Black Friday, and. Yeah, so overall, Thanksgiving was a, a great movie, and I'm going to give Eli Roth's Thanksgiving four stars out of five. So yeah, because it, it, if, if you love, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, pardon me, if you love scary movies like me, then I say I, I recommend checking out this movie. Yeah, because even if you do get a chance to check this movie out, then I, then I, I couldn't recommend it better, better myself. I recommend it. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for my movie review on Thanksgiving. And that's going to be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying goodbye, everybody. And that's about it.